Lauren. Well, let's get you more perspective and analysis on uh, Xi Jinping's visit to Africa. Earlier, we spoke to Dr. Francis Onditi, a senior lecturer and head of department at the School of International Relations and Diplomacy at Riara University in Kenya. We began by asking him about the significance of Xi's trip to these specific countries on his itinerary. The visit of President Jinping is building on a, a long term. Uh, development philosophy that China established many years ago. Uh, you remember the, the 1955 Bandung conference that happened um, that actually uh, was the beginning of Africa, Asia and China relationship. And this relationship is very much based on uh, you know, trade uh, and, and their foreign policy has been pegged on what we call the win-win um, strategy. Uh, for, for, for the countries in Africa. Now that the president is visiting some uh, four uh, countries in Africa, um, Senegal in particular, where the president uh, Jinping would start his uh, uh, visit, um, it's a country that uh, even though it's not endowed with a lot of natural resources, is one of the countries that has been pride of Africa in terms of economic growth. Um, and, and therefore, um, the Chinese um, extension of their development initiatives, particularly in terms of um, infrastructure, technology transfer, and, and, and also manpower uh, to that country, Senegal. It is something which is speaking and also in line with the Chinese, um, the win-win strategy development in Africa. And, and, and you remember that uh, this is a, a development strategy that is trying to link not just China, Asia and Africa, but is also intending to join uh, Europe and the rest of the world. So Africa is seen to be a gateway um, uh, to the completion of the Silk Project, but is also seen as a, a destination uh, for the production of resources that will be coming as a result of this, um, of this uh, infrastructure um, that is going to not just to facilitate trade but also help Chinese uh, foreign policy uh, to be realized in different ways, in security, in trade, in, um, in communication and also in cultural exchange between the people of Asia, Africa and also Europe. As the president comes and uh, attends the conference in South Africa, I think the expectations are very high from President Jinping. And one of the areas that the, um, we, we may want, we may see uh, coming into the forefront in terms of discussions and also uh, strategies would be um, how to make sure that South Africa, being the only country that is represented on the brick from the continent, is, is actually representing not just the views and interest of South Africa as a country, but also the views and interest of other countries on the continent.